I uh, hate to throw a damper, but if David was home, I should think he'd be calling instead of Mrs. Kentley. Wouldn't you say so, Brandon? I wouldn't know. The David I remember was very polite as well as very punctual. He hasn't changed. Of course. If he's not at home, where could he be? Don't ask me. I don't know. Well, he might be in a number of places, such as the club or the Bradleys are giving a party. Or maybe he went down to Janet's. Why? Perhaps he decided to pick her up after all. I phoned my place after I spoke with Mrs. Kentley. He wasn't there? No. I left a message just in case, but... We might have a better chance of finding out where he is now if we knew where he was this afternoon. What do you think, Brandon? I haven't the least idea where he was this afternoon. But don't you think it would help if we found out where he was? I suppose so. I know he went to the club this afternoon to play tennis, and I know that he got there. Why? Because someone phoned from there with a message that David would meet us here. Well, do you know who gave the message? No. Well, then, obviously, David ran into someone at the club who changed his plans. Uh, you weren't there this afternoon by any chance, were you, Kenneth? No. I wish I had been. I don't suppose you or Brandon were, Philip? No. Hardly. We had our hands full getting ready for the party. Oh, there was a lot to be done this afternoon. Well, you, you know. Yeah, I see. You uh, didn't speak to David at all today, then? No. Uh, why do you ask? Well, I just thought that perhaps he might have called to say he'd be late or something. He didn't. Well, neither Philip nor I have talked to David since the day we invited him to the party. That's odd. What do you mean? I thought I heard David on the phone to Philip yesterday morning. Really? Yes, you did. I'd forgotten. Oh, uh, what were you talking to him about? Did he call about the party? Yes, he wanted to make sure about the time. That was all. Here, uh, I'll help you with that, Mr. Oh, thank you, Mr. Cadet. There you go. That's all right, Mrs. Wilson. You can put the books back when you come in to clean in the morning. I didn't have any idea of coming in in the morning. Well, I'm afraid you have to. Uh, just let the books go for now. Well, all right. Henry, Alice hasn't had a word from David. She's frantic. I better talk to her. She hung up. <laughs> 